Ladies and welcome to Valkyrie Chronicles. I am Necro Lion. And I really like that intro, honestly. That's very, very nice. Uh, we're gonna keep the language on English just because that I don't have to really read all that freaking much. So tells her on that was actually quite loud. What are the extras? What you got for me? Skirmishes. Yeah, okay. New game. Kind of loud. So I give you, I believe, I give you like a little backstory of the game. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. Jesus. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable awesome. war. Hostilities began in the east when the oh, Empire yeah. aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Which is basically like World War II. So. The Empire. With its vast military superiority. Actually, World War II was around yeah, and and started in the mid 30s. And putting the Federation on defensive. Ooh. Boldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long met its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border yeah. and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Jesus, that was loud. I'm about to turn the shit down. Yeah, it works on, uh, like, episode viewings. So chapter selects, things like that. Alright, let's do it. Do this episode. I'm turning this bitch now. This is loud. Yeah. March. I do love the color art. It's very, very well made. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Gallian. I need to see a map of this, honestly. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion. Headed inland to Oh yeah, it's literally based off of Europe. I haven't been down this road in years. For the most part. It really hasn't changed very For the most part, it's like loosely based off of Europe, as you can tell. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Dude, you need to get a girlfriend. I guess we're gonna start drawing fish. By the way, freeze. Put your hands in the air slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um. My name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brule Town Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish, and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Smooth, dude. <sighs> Thanks, fish. That's the beginning. 
an Imperial attack. And yes, there's actually combat in this game, don't worry. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. You have a problem, lady. Folks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the cap. That may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, he's a general's son. I apologize. But I was just doing my job. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked yeah. a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion yeah, for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. Go into it sometimes, I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! That guy's just like, just shooting like every direction. He's one of those people. Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah, I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Awesome. All right, here's the actual like combat we will save it you know mentions that you always should and yes I know it's like oh seven minutes in have no 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 actual combat it's like oh well okay here's the plan okay here's the plan we're in brawl we got to limit the Imperial Scouts that are approaching brawl we'll develop from here we'll deploy from here and take up take out the three of them just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Welcome dies, at least he dies, 20 turns pass. Failure, all enemies will be as victory. Just Let's get started, time. just stay calm and get it done. Yeah, 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 I got it. I see, th I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something oh, I should explain. Come on. All right. I'll see P command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area in your unit's positions. This is referred to as the command bar. Here, you'll set the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy. Then press X. Then press the X button. Doing so, you so uses a uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander. And represent the number of times you can get instructions to or control your units per each player phase. In this battle, you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to units up to three times. Let's try moving in now. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Well, action points, use CP to select the unit, command mode, and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here, you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. As you move around the, in the action mode, the action points, which is the gauge at the bottom of the screen, will gradually complete. This represents the unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keep an eye on the unit's remaining AP. While they are in motion, it's critical to keep them safe. For now, use a left stick to move the unit near the sandbags. I planned on it. We have what they call a galleon right now. About attacking, press the R1 to enter the target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with their currently selected weapon. Use the left stick to move the crosshairs of the enemy in L1 or R1 and R1 to stand between targets. 
Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing the X button to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the cruiser, so it's best to center on the entire target. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only take from target mode, only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. The target survives your attack, they may then launch a counterattack. A damaged unit may not have the HP to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning your attack. You can crouch, of course, get better, you know, cover. Aim for their head if you want to. Takes two to kill. And a unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an, uh, an attack in target mode is unable to attack. Act further, press cancel to end there. Yes. Alright. Yep, circle to cancel. You'll reload. Uh, turn, okay. yeah, it takes one. Let's get her up there too. Get her crouch. She, she can move further. Let's try to move him up. I, I just didn't read really what this said. Oh, using cover. When staying near St. Mary's, press crouch, press X to take cover behind them. When high aim, high cover units are harder. Target taking less damage. Take less damage and are immune to headshots. Critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significant, significantly more damage. And it's carefully moving from cover to cover and always try to end your action safely hidden without harm. Okay. Pretty sure this rocks cover too. Nope. Well, this is lovely. Two kill, 37. I will take that chance. Uh, sure, why not? Part of the town guard, might as well move him up. And I was like, oh, why are you moving him up? Because I want to. Look at. He's staying behind a tree, he's in cover. No, I don't. Yep, and current phase. It'll move the Empire now. Yeah. Rat tat tat, bitch. Get fucked. Woohoo. Guys can't move. When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. Pool of 3 CP can be used with one unit three times in a row. Yes, I figured that. It's not hard to figure that part out. Here we go. Uh, let's see, can we make it up there? Yeah, we can easily. Gotta hit once. So it should be fine. Yeah. Boom! Get headshot, bitch. Hmm. Take that. Ready to go. You. It's a little finicky, in my opinion. Yeah, and they like. Totally waste their ammo. So. I don't see any more of them. 
Yeah, uh, looks like 200 XP and 500 money. New episode has been opened. A hilltop promise. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this next uh, mission after this. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. So I'll begin. do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made yep. upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy. Cool hidden in the mists of time. A story well, yeah, there, during World War II there was a lot of small of trust, armies that bested the Germans. Persecution, and I'm talking about hate, America, I'm not talking about, you know, and of love, Britain, and I'm not talking about France, well, through the I don't even want to war. talk about that part. But you what had countries, you know, conflict, that and of those who you had Italy who was under and control of Mussolini, and died. who, you know, fought back. You had people from like Sweden and shit, you know, that fought. We're talking small armies that just. I don't want to say it's a small army, but it wasn't like exactly like everyone wanted to fight against them either. Chapter one. Oh, we're still on. That was the prologue we did now. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the prologue. This in defense. It looks like we have a shit ton of chapters in this game. Uh, we'll save and. Uh, no. Bring in the next episode with a this with the next thing. Why not? Other than that, guys, I'm Necrolion. This is Valkyria Chronicles, and I will see you guys.